14-year-old Constance Choate makes her daily walk home from school carrying with her a heavy burden. Trouble in schools, fighting, you know, throwing stuff at people just because she, she won't talk about it. She just holds her anger and her hurt all inside. Hurt caused by a lifetime of disappointment. Her mother, Heather Holtz, in and out of jail for drugs and alcohol since Constance was a baby. Is there any fond memory you have? Um, no. The 14-year-old does keep a box of handwritten letters, dozens of them all from her mother, containing empty promises. They mostly say the same thing, that she hopes to get out very soon, and she wants to spend time with me and hopes that I come see her. Meanwhile, just across town, six-year-old Brooklyn and her two-year-old sister Brianna play quietly, pretending. Who's on the phone? Mama. Mama. Their mother, Amy Stebbins, is in a women's corrections facility. Brooklyn and Brianna live with their grandmother, Becky, who provides love and safety to children who've known anything but. She's been through more than I'll ever go through in my whole life, and she's only six. Feelings of anger, sadness, and shame. One day they were talking about who they love and miss, and like, and that just... I just started crying because of her, because I missed my mom. She acts out. She gets very angry, acts out, throws herself on the floor. According to research, 7 in 10 individuals who have been incarcerated will end up back in prison or jail within three years, further affecting many of these families. But thanks to the hard work of organizations and other nonprofits, they're cutting down on recidivism and having a huge impact on these families. One such organization is led by Larry Goodith, a former NFL player who spent a year in jail. Now, through Lifeline Prison Ministries, he works to reconnect families separated by gray cement walls through therapy with inmates and their families, mentoring and Bible-based teachings. The success stories are overwhelming. Forgive me, but tears of joy are streaming down my cheeks. You see, last Friday the guard came to my cell and said, Brown, you have a visit. Larry, I haven't had a visit in four years. As I entered a visiting room, there was my beautiful wife and my daughters. They ran to me with tears in their eyes and said, Daddy, we love you. Please be our daddy again. We forgive you. Similar stories reflect the family-focused mission of Lifeline Ministries. Inmates who go through the program are 20% less likely to return to jail. The program also provides opportunities for incarcerated parents to meet with their children. Make them feel worthy. Makes them feel proud that, hey, I'm your dad. I might be incarcerated, but I'm still proud of you. Despite their own hardships, these families, although separated by the cold walls of an empty cell, hope one day those walls and the ones they've built will come crashing down. Brittany Shannon, NBC 25 News.